today's Mother's Day, which is why I guess it's appropriate that it's gonna be a real mother to cross this road. But we do what we do. Actually, there might be less traffic because it's Mother's Day. So. I spoke too soon. One, two, three. Why do people follow each other so close? You're not going to get there any faster. I had some loser on the way here following right behind me, flashing his lights. It's like, dude, I'm doing 50 and a 45. What are you flashing the lights about? He almost clipped me when he round, went around me too. All right. Can we do this in one handful? Put that under my elbow. Here we go. Oh, we gotta wait for a truck. Oh, I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, rotors are rotors, but that was very stressful. Anyway, welcome to trash picking. Hopefully the rest of the day will be a lot safer. What do these people have? Is that a thing that we need? The Versacopter? That looks like it be, could be a thumbnail though. Look at all these motors. Flight controllers? All right, I think we're gonna take most of that crap. Here's some, uh, some other stuff. Maybe we'll take that. Don't you just love it when people like completely dump out of a hobby? And you get to take all their hobby stuff out of the garbage that they don't use anymore. Let's see, we don't want their mufflers. I don't want to go all the way up their driveway. But yeah, I guess we can take this remote control car uh, Remote control helicopter crap. This pile contains either a suitcase or an accordion case, and we're about to find out which it is right now. I'm saying suitcase. I gotta get rid of a little uh, address label, name stamp label. Ha! <laughs> what do you know? I guess I have been doing this a while. All right, I haven't been doing it long enough to realize that you gotta Is this a good one? The Galanti Custom. There's your thumbnail, lady. All right, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get together with some other guys and we're gonna form a group. And we're gonna name the group Dal Yankovic. So when people say, who are you guys? We could say, we're Dal Yankovic. <laughs> you think he'd sue us? 
I think he'd get the joke. Anyway, like if you see a suitcase where it's slanted like that, that's the giveaway that it may be, as the Bee Gees say, more than a suitcase, more than a suitcase to me. Here's a big impressive pile of crap. And I say crap lovingly. The only reason I really stopped here is because of uh, ye old boat. Oof. Stop it. Wow. We found so much remote control crap today. First of all, this gigantic boat, which uh, I am probably gonna punt that to a friend because, uh, you know, what am I gonna do with that? Then we got this thing that I didn't show you. Cool looking truck, the JRX2 or something. I don't know what the hell that is. And then we got all that helicopter crap. So let's stuff the boat. What's it say? Victor Model Products of Downey, California. Yeah, let's stuff the boat in here. Oof. Excuse me, ma'am. Your mask doesn't fit in my car. What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna have to do this off camera, but this may be the last time you guys see this boat because, uh, you know, I might have to just get rid of it. So I'll see, oh look, it's trying to sail away in the wind like Tommy Shaw. And five minutes later, we are no longer burdened with that boat. Wow, I think we can be burdened with this bucket of bolts. <coughs> Jeez. All right, what's up with the handle? Stop. Stop. Look at this. Wow. Tighten some bolts with that. All right, that's a fun bucket of crab. I found this thing that's broken, but it's neat. My friend gave me that thing. Oh. So yeah, I gave my friend a remote control boat that according to eBay is worth 350 bucks. And he gave me a faucet. I'm just kidding, it's not that transactional. It's just like, you know, we kind of hook each other up with stuff. And that dude gives me a lot of metal. As does this dude, holy cow. All right, let's see, where are we gonna put that engine? I think if we put this, if we move some of this crap back here. Oh, don't drip juice all over my car. I assume that thing's just gonna go for scrap anyway, but I'd like to not break it anymore than it's gonna be broken. Get our jack out of the way. And I think we could probably get this engine in the, uh... all right, you guys wanna go on the crankshaft cam? Good grief. Why does this engine weigh so much? Oh, that's a heavy engine. I guess it's made out of cast iron. That's why it's so heavy. All right. There's your flywheel, lady. I hope this thing doesn't fall over. Start dumping oil everywhere. Anyway. 
we got a little box full of bit braces and whatnot. That can go with us. And what's this thing right here? That's neat. Yeah, that's like an antique multi screwdriver or some shit. That might ride up front with us. With the accordion. Anyway, we are having fun out here. And I had zero expectations today, so today is really, really outstripping all of my expectations, of which I had none, so make sense of that. I'm pretty sure we're still making a video. I haven't recorded anything in a couple hours. I was gonna record this cast iron pan until I realized it's not cast iron. It is Calphalon though. You guys wanna take it just for, uh, just for scrap? Yeah, it's, it's really slow out here today because it's Mother's Day, I guess. But, uh, we're doing all right anyway. I guess time passes differently for you guys than it does for me. But it has been a long time since that last, uh, that last thing we did, whatever it may have been. This is neat. A bicycle trainer with little hamster cages on it. Will she fit in the trunk? Maybe. Oh, who am I kidding? This ain't gonna fit in the trunk. Where are we gonna put that? Here, we'll put it inside the car. Isn't that cute? It says bulk pickup. All right, so the accordion has been uh, appraised by a musical genius. And apparently it's worth the whopping total of 20 bucks because uh, All the reeds inside it are unglued. You can't sell an accordion with unglued reeds, apparently. Wow. I hate this thing. But we will keep it for the time being. What's your vote? Nay. Yeah, he doesn't want us to keep it. Moo. So I guess we got our thumbnail. And according to the counter on the camera, this video is like 32 minutes long already. I don't see how that's possible. What happened to you, buddy? You split wide open. You eating hamburgers and now you're worried about what happened to me? Yeah, good point. Uh, I don't know. I want you guys to enjoy my videos. I don't want you to think they're just a bunch of bull. Anyway, that's a magnificent thing, isn't it? It's in the garbage. Okay, so there's like a, a full-size fiberglass cow in the garbage. That's what we saw today. That's what we did today. How the hell can my memory card be saying that this video is 33 minutes long already? I haven't recorded anything today. Anyway, you guys tell me, is this video 33 minutes long? 
leave it in the comments. I don't think this video is 33 minutes long. I think I just forgot to delete the footage off my card. Anyway, enjoy looking at the ground because you can't see uh, any of the other stuff around here. But no pumpkin left behind. I have no idea why I picked these things up. What's this? No drop cloth left behind? I could probably use a new drop cloth. Is that a drop cloth though, or is that the thing that goes on this futon? Yeah, all right. Anyway, we can't look at uh, anything around here. Look at the, look at the trees. Look at the pumpkins. Everything else is top secret stuff that you guys aren't allowed to see. This guy's got a neat table, I think. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Oh yeah, that's cool. I don't know though. It's cool, but it's like really roached out. What do you think? Is it worth taking or is it just too, uh, too messed up? Hmm. I'm going to say it's probably a little too messed up for us to take. He's got these things though. Wow. I guess that has something to do with this maybe. Nissan trampoline. The hell? I guess we can take the Nissan trampoline parts. Oof. Doing the underarm pinch with these parts. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Whatever while I do. All right, you guys are done. I gotta answer the phone. Look at these big rims my friend just gave me. And he didn't just give me those. He had given me this rim number three. Whew. All right, do we want this? Uh... I like it, but the top is all banged in and it takes a lot of space. Straighten out the top. Oh, it's perfect now. Yeah, that's enough room. That thing's worth nothing. What about this rim? Why am I still at this pile? This pile's terrible. Let's leave this pile. Let's go find like one more pile and then we can be done. I want you guys to repeat after me. Holy cow. Look at the size of these copper pipes. OMG. They don't really weigh nothing. But, uh, we will forgive them that relatively minor trespass. Oh, that one weighs something. Oh. And, uh, I'm gonna say this is about the end for us today. How could we end on a better note than that? Three giant copper pipes. When do you find a copper pipe you can actually look through? So, I'll save you the uh, 
trouble of watching me cut those up to fit them in the car, but look at this load. Bucket of tools, engine, rim, bucket of wire, copper pipe, brake rotor, remote control car, remote control stuff, no pumpkin left behind, $20 broken accordion, kind of sucks about that, but what are you going to do? That thing and some more rims because my friend just gave me another one. What an incredible day. And uh, that's the end of that. So until next time, I'm going to cut these pipes up and thanks for watching.